Welcome back to Houston Life. Parents, I know you all remember virtual learning during the pandemic, and it's hard to believe that was nearly three years ago. Well, our next guest thrived during that time. This local father started holding live streams, teaching hundreds of thousands of kids how to draw in 3D. Now he's got a new book out called Half Hour of Pencil Power. Joining us now is Emmy Award winning PBS Children's television artist Mark Kistler. Thank you for well, coming today. Yay. Thank you so much, <laughs> Lauren and Crystal, for inviting me to, to be here. Tough act to follow oh. with Elmo. Oh my, gosh. El I just, oh my gosh, it's Elmo. That was so you cool. Know, Elmo draws out the kid in all of us as well as drawing, right? Well, and you've it, been doing Elmo it Elmo had time. to be created by the artist. In fact, I was friends with Carol Spinney, and uh, he, he and I, would we, we would talk at comic conventions about the importance of drawing and how everything had to be drawn first, from Elmo to Big Bird to the set designs to this set here. Everything has to be drawn first. And that's what I've been doing for 40 years. I've and been teaching kids and, and parents how to draw in 3D. That is That's a great awesome. story. I love the connection. And you're exactly right, though. It comes from your mind, imagination, and then it comes to your pencil and paper, on the paper, and then it comes to life. That's with every drawing, yeah, drawing right? Drawing is the, the, the amazing, powerful tool to lift kids up, their spirits, their, their emotions. Right now, we're going through everybody knows the, this difficult challenging time and I have found even after the 40 years of doing it that drawing it lifts people up and it's joyful it's fun it builds up their enthusiasm and also it launches the children's imagination I keep saying kids but the parents and grandparents like when I do my summer camps this summer in Sugar Land and in Tomball and in um, uh, ah, all over Texas, all over yeah. all over Texas Toronto and Boston um, I try to get the parents to come, and they have to stay one day over the five days, and it turns out that 50% of the parents will stay the whole week. The whole time. Because they're drawing. So we started three weeks, or five weeks ago, I'm doing my live stream since the pandemic, every day around 7 p.m. on my YouTube channel and Facebook. Well, five weeks ago, I get an email from two professionals from MIT and Harvard, Matt and Rachel Courtney, and they had this idea, hey, let us help get you invited to cities around North America, Canada and America, to spark, to spark, I love that word, that's to spark the imagination in local communities through the visual arts. So they, they got us, they, they, we have 33 volunteers now in just a matter of five weeks. This is so oh, wow. fantastic. I don't know, Crystal, if you knew this, but Mark, you said your live stream, which got going during the pandemic. Yes. Tell everybody what happened, it exploded. My son, my uh, amazing Mario, he, he, he missed his last month of school, like so many millions of people around America and around the world during the pandemic. March 20th, uh, 3 p.m., they canceled school. So the next Monday, we started doing a father-son, Mario and dad, live stream, and which turned out to be this book right here, which I'm going to give you. Your, nice. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so we got, we built up to just wow. thousands of thousands of viewers all over the world. And our pencil power, we did it for an hour free for the kids around the world as a, a way to channel their imagination, to, to give them a break from the stress and to draw and be creative and have fun. Can I, can I give a shout out real quick? Absolutely. To, to Krista and Jeff and Veronica and all my Spark volunteers all over. Thank you guys. They're watching now in Toronto and Boston oh, hey. and South Carolina and in Atlanta. So thank you guys. They, they, in, in five weeks, we started this to, to ignite the visual arts, celebrate the visual arts in these communities. And we even have England now and Scotland uh, where people are, they're inviting me to come in to their areas to, to talk to the local schools. I was just at Hayes Elementary School yesterday. It was so much fun just over here across this bridge. You're a busy guy. Yeah, I know, right there. <laughs> so I was at Hayes with 500 kids. They're going to invite me to come into these cities all over the country and visit all the schools, the art museums, the children's hospitals, and uh, the PBS stations, bookstores, and to ignite the visual arts and then we can bring in all the local artists to, to get the local artists uh, celebrated and get them plugged in. Mark, my question for you is you've been an artist for over four decades, over 40 years. Have you I feel all... so young. <laughs> how? When you're only yeah. 10 years old, amazing. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> have you always been interested in art? Has it always been part of your life? You know, I was so lucky when I was young, I met my 
uh, master teacher, uh, Bruce McIntyre, when I was in fifth grade. He was a Disney artist, and he inspired me with this imagination that I went through a, uh, with this desire to draw. I knew that ever since I was young, I wanted to be a cartoonist. I thought I was going to be a Flintstones animator. <laughs> That was my favorite. That's pretty cool, too. Yeah. And then I said, uh, I had this goal. I wanted to teach a million kids how to draw before I turned 18. That's what that, these art teachers got me so excited. I wanted to teach art. Well, I turned 18, and I, I missed my goal by like 400,000. Oh. I've been doing school assemblies. But I turned 21, and that's when my launch, a week before my 21st birthday, of a lot of your, your viewers might remember on Channel 8 here in Houston, it was one of the 190 stations around the country to air The Secret City. It's so wonderful. Which is very exciting. We well, did. Mark, I, I'm just taking a look here. You've written over 20 books <laughs> in your lifetime. Yeah. These are amazing. And <laughs> let me ask you something. You said that you're going to be able to teach Crystal and I how to draw. And yes, play. I am so excited. I'm that's, really setting the bar low, Mark. That's my happy place. To, <laughs> I, I'm happiest when I'm sharing my passion and my joy of drawing. Drawing, anybody can draw. I, I taught blind students how to draw, and that's a, that's a feature story on itself. You can learn how to draw, and I'll share with you. It's so fun. It's so easy, just step by step. We'll do it now. I guess we have like three minutes. At any age, we I'll can do this. I'll show you how to draw the wonderful fish. All right. Thanks again, all my Sparks people out there. I'm just so excited. I, I love your excitement. Crystal, are you excited to learn I'm how to draw? I'm super excited. I okay. told you, I can draw a right. really good elephant. All right, we're ready so for I'm this, ready. but you guys don't go anywhere, because after the break, Mark is going to teach Crystal and I how to draw in draw, 3D, draw. and he promises that we're going to be able to master it no matter how bad we are. Houston Life will be right back. Welcome back to Houston Live. It is Gal Pal Week. So I've got my co-host, Crystal Wall, joining us today. And we Yay. are ready to draw. Now, before the break, we introduced you to Mark Kistler, an Emmy Award winning artist who has passion for teaching kids how to draw in 3D. And now he's going to teach us. All right, Mark, we are going to trust you into and I drawing am, this. I'm Where so do we excited. Start? I am going to teach you how to draw in Four minutes. Okay. And all your viewers too. I hope you viewers get paper and pencil okay. or watch the light, watch the stream, watch the recording. We're gonna draw the fish. Hold up your pencil. This pencil is gonna be your rocket to launch your ideas into the land of drawing. So you ready? My We're ready. All right. Woo. Take your pencil and we'll start. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start light. Start with the whisper line. I'm gonna use a blue. Okay. So when you draw, draw a very light whisper, okay. whisper line. So very light. We're gonna start with the fish. See, it's very light. Like you can barely see it. I hope oh. they can see it out there on this. So and then very light. lightly, let's block in the fish. All right, so that's light. Now, okay. now that's our first layer. We're going to take our imagination. We're going to think fish, be the fish, right? Be, be the, the fish. fish. And I'm going to add layer upon layer. I teach what it's called the 12 Renaissance words of drawing. They've been around for 500 years. And here's the first word, overlapping. Now we draw dark. Push hard okay. and draw your dark eye. See how that comes across on the... And then... Okay. Right here, this is overlapping. This is one of those 12 words. They've been around since, I don't know why I'm yelling. I'm so used to teaching 500 I kids. I like it. I like it, Mark. I have okay. a microphone three inches from my face. And <laughs> I do this during my live streams, which it's every night around 7 p.m. on my YouTube. Okay. Little plug, little plug. Okay. And <laughs> I, uh, I scream, and I don't have to scream. We're going to draw the, I'm going to make this fish a super happy fish because he, he's here on uh, Houston, Houston life. life. Okay. Yay. Look, see, this is called the contour. We're giving our drawing shape and volume. Nice. All right. Little contour. Look at wrinkles to give your drawing expression. Ah, I'm so proud of you guys. Look yes. at these. So far, these we're doing wonderful. good. Okay. Oh, and then great. I'm going to take this. Now, watch. We're just going to draw the bottom of the fish. Oh, oh. look at that. Easy, okay. easy, easy. And this is how how they started when they created Elmo or Big Bird oh. or, or any of the characters. They start for a light line. Now, some of my students are the uh, animators and creators of Kung Fu Panda. You remember Kung Fu Panda? I sure yeah. do. Or uh, the movie Frozen. Oh, uh, yeah. I love those movies. How to draw. And they all start with the same ideas. Start light, use the 12 Renaissance words of drawing. And the idea is to be able to draw f flat to 3D. You can... You can uh, Take your drawing, launch your drawing into the world of 3D with these words. Here's overlapping. You can see how this is. Also, this is a word called size. This is larger. Okay. And then now here comes a word called four shorts, and he watch this. I'm going to tuck, tuck that in there. What was that called, Mark? Uh, what was four that word? Shortening. 
Now, or... you give me a time like, so I can wrap it up. I want to okay, make sure you get... about two minutes. We're good. Oh, two minutes? Yeah. Okay, okay. We're doing the speed. This is usually a 12 minute, speed but we drawing. can do it. Okay. So this is the dorsal fin, right? Right. So this is the pectoral. This is the dorsal. Here's the pupil. Okay. okay. Draw the pupil. Now watch what I do with the pupil. And if you can't, I know uh, uh, Crystal and Veronica, you're going to want to draw this later on. You can watch the recording. Okay. Here, put the put the uh, I got to put the in. You see got that? Put the wrinkles. Get in the eyeballs. The wrinkles. Okay. Can you see okay? Yep, we got it. Oh, look at him. Look at the monitor. My fish looks Wait. wonderful. Just keep swimming. <laughs> Just keep swimming. <laughs> Look at he's look Just at that. Keep swimming. Okay. It's going up now. I'll make him wavy. Look, like he's like waving oh, to Dora. Okay. Hello, Dora. I love you. <laughs> Dora. Okay, Lauren's <laughs> killing it. Isn't that <laughs> wonderful? I'm trying to follow. Oh my gosh, let me see your drawings real quick before we shade. I just my. Gotta, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Can I hold up here? Yeah. I my got fish is crossed. Look at their drawing. No, hold up their drawing real quick. Oh, that looks hold good. Hold up the camera. Okay, look at Lauren. I'm trying to so far. I'm okay. so proud of you guys. All right. Shade, shade, shade. Did we're you shaded, get that back shaded. line? We have the shade. Okay. You guys, Where you we guys are my best students ever oh, in my whole you. life. I've never heard that before. Do you this think I say that to all my I've students? Ever... <laughs> I'm a teacher. We're doing I'm great. You. We're doing so good. I was at Hayes Lawrence Elementary School okay, okay, yesterday okay. doing a school Let's assembly. This in. And all the kids did this fish. Kindergartners okay. did this they fish. Okay, they can do it. We can do it. Yeah, we can. About 40 seconds left, Mark. Okay, well, this we're right on time. Shade, shade, shade. Shade, 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 shade. Again, I just want to thank all my Spark volunteers for helping me get Shit, the joy of drawing into the local communities oh. and I, I opened my goal is to get a hundred spark volunteers okay. just tune in to me uh, uh, on live on my YouTube channel okay. or go to my website. Well, I think we've got to show off our drawings. Yeah. Crystal, can, what, can yeah. I see yours? Shade. Oh, you can see mine. Let oh, me hold see. on. Let oh, me shade, shade, shade. Shade, shade, shade. That's, oh, a good that's awesome. You guys did Let so good. Let me see. Good. Oh, your overlapping eyeballs are really good. <laughs> No, I like is, it. Mine is a little bit uneven. I'll put it on a t-shirt. Shading. I love <laughs> Thank it. Thank you, Mark, so much. That was Thank a blast. Thank you for letting me teach you of to draw. Course. You guys we've are got, wonderful. We've got this a link awesome. to connect with Mark under the See On section of our website at HoustonLife.tv. Buckle up, everyone. Crown Royal.